an IWW card in their back pocket. But I want to tell you about one woman who was a member of, uh, of my union. Who uh, Her name was Audrey Smith. And Audrey was a worker at Kingsbridge Nursing Home in the Bronx in New York. She was a member of my union local 1199. And um, she was a 65-year-old grandmother of three. And all of a sudden her employers at the nursing home where she takes care of our most frail and elderly members of our society, her employers decided to cut off all health care benefits during contract negotiations with the union. Now Audrey had asthma, a condition I'm sure is very, you know, many people have here, I have asthma, but she was older and she had had chronic asthma all her life. And she, um, once they took away the health benefits, she could no longer afford to pay for her inhaler that she needed to keep her lungs in shape. And two weeks ago, after 85 straight days on the picket line fighting to get her health insurance back, this sister of my local, Audrey Smith, died on her way to the picket line from an asthma attack that could have been prevented if she could have afforded to get her medicine. So what does this say? A, we need to get our fucking priorities straight in this country. Stop spending three billion dollars a week on Iraq and make sure every single person in this country has health care. So you see the doctor, the senators, the representatives, the president, all of these people have health care. Their children can see the doctor. People say it's a policy problem. It's not a policy problem. It's fucking class war. It's murder. The lack of universal health care in this country. And we don't say this a lot because normally when we're talking about when we're talking about why all of us need to take initiative and organize in our workplaces and organize labor unions no matter where we work whether you're a college professor or a bricklayer you can form a union and normally we talk about doing that to get a living wage and to get paid so that when you have kids you can have a family or if you have kids you can support your family but more and more employers are aggressively taking away health care benefits that many of our parents and grandparents had and if we don't all take a stand, organize so we can get health care. We're going to see more of our friends, more of our family members end up in situations like Audrey where we die because we don't have that basic right because we didn't stand up and fight for it. So this song is for um, everybody who is organizing in their community, organizing in their work site, everybody fighting for social justice. And I know there's so many of you here doing that in Rhode Island, and that's why we feel like um, so, so honored to be part of your family and Creosote, a band from Arizona, another band with a very positive social justice message. So give them a hand coming 2,500 miles. So, so this is a song that is an old song that people often request when we're down here, but we, we didn't play it. Oh, and say hi to our new drummer, Jake. Jake the Snake is our new drummer from Jackson And without further ado, sing along if you know this one. This song is called Stuck in Line. Woo! Yeah. 